states where the U.S. is expecting to begin a COVID vaccination drive by early December. But the head of the U.S. government's coronavirus vaccine effort has said that authorities are aiming to ship doses of, to the immunization sites within 24 hours of approval by the country's Food and Drug Administration. Now, the FDA vaccine advisors are likely to meet on the 10th of December to discuss approving vaccines, which pharma companies like Pfizer and Moderna say are at least about 95% effective in their final stages of trials. Now, officials estimate that about 20 million people across the United States could be vaccinated in December itself. However, they are aiming to vaccinate about 30 million people per month. And officials have further added that with potentially 70% of the population having been vaccinated, the United States could attain what would be described as herd immunity by as early as the summer of 2021. And this means that the virus will no longer be able to spread widely. However, experts have warned that it is still very early to decide the efficacy of the vaccines. The drug makers Moderna and Pfizer have said that their vaccine is well over 90% effective. We have still have to be a little bit more careful because we need to collect more data. Most of the, these two trials have basically had 150, 200 cases mm. out of 30, 40,000 people actually uh, vaccinated or in the placebo group. We still need to see, will this 90% hold? Because we know the immunity response at the beginning is always the strongest. But sometimes, sometimes immunologists and uh, vaccinologists warn they sometimes drop over time. All right, so that is the latest bit of information that is coming in, that the FDA would be looking at the possibility of approving a vaccine by the 10th or the 11th of December. Uh, Jagrati, this, this is something that we've been waiting for for many, many months. Now, if companies such as Pfizer and Moderna have come out and said that their vaccines are well over 90% effective in, in creating an immune response against the virus. Uh, what's, what's actually the buzz within the United States for the fact that the FDA would be looking at approving the vaccine perhaps by the 11th of December? I mean, clearly this is um, good news that progress is being made. There was, um, you know, health professionals, health officials like Dr. Anthony Fauci, they were all saying, you know, if things go well, early indications were saying that they are in the vaccine trials, we could have a vaccine ready to go before the end of the year. And that indeed does seem to have happened. The FDA is going to meet on the 10th to discuss the cert whether to approve the vaccine or not. And as the head of the U.S. Vaccine Development program said that a vaccine once approved could be ready for administration very, very soon afterwards. So this is, of course, great news. But, um, you know, there are health professionals, you know, we, we, we saw uh, the coronavirus task force briefing last week where Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Deborah Burks were saying that given the steep rise in the number of coronavirus cases across the country with record hospitalizations and cases happening, um, mitigation is still something that needs to be done, that people still need to wear face masks, they still need to social distance um, until the vaccine arrives and until... Um, it is, uh, you know, it, it is shown to be uh, effective and it is given to Americans. Of course, initially, the vaccine is going to be administered to the most vulnerable and to frontline officials. That seems to be the indication. Uh, the head of the vaccine development program also said that states would decide how to administer the vaccine, um, you know, in their in their patch. So, you know, this is, of course, good news. But there's also, I think, um, a sense of caution amongst health officials that there has to be the continuation of these mitigation, because right now what we are seeing is a huge spike um, that is causing concerns ahead of Thanksgiving, which is happening in the next few days, and ahead of the Christmas holidays. Uh, you know, we're looking into the, going into winter, going into February, March of next year. Um, you know, the possibility that the cold weather, the flu season, real concerns that, uh, you know, there could be uh, continuing increases in the number of cases and the number of hospitalizations. Absolutely, indeed. Thank you very much, indeed, Jagrati, the way for joining us and getting us all those insights.